For this session, we will solve the roots of quadratic equation by the use of an ancient Babylonian trick. Actually, this trick is hidden 2,000 years ago until lately it was discovered. But before we will continue, let us first recall the different methods used to solve the roots of quadratic equation. So in our previous session, we are done with these four methods in solving the roots of quadratic equation. So in this session, we will try to learn an ancient trick in solving quadratic equation. But before that, allow me to acknowledge a very important person who is responsible in cracking the code to have an ancient Babylonian trick in solving the quadratic equation. So he was actually featured in the Science Alert website, no other than Dr. Po Shin Lo. He is actually an associate professor in Carnegie Mellon University. He is also the national coach of United States International Math Olympiad team. He is also the lead developer of contact tracing app named as Novid that uses an ultrasound technology that will trace COVID-19 infected. So much for that, let us now learn about this ancient tricks that was hidden 2,000 years ago. If you can master this method, even in 10 seconds time or less than 10 seconds, you will find the roots of the given quadratic equation. So let us take an example. Example number one. 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 is equal to zero. The very first step that you are going to do in this method is we will identify the values of A, B, and C or the coefficient of the quadratic term, the coefficient of the linear term, and the constant term. And the second step is we will try to solve for the sum of the roots. So our sum of the roots is negative b over a. Now since our b or the value of our b is negative 4, and from our formula, negative b over a, our b is already negative. So negative times negative 4 is positive 4. And the value of our a is 3. Next is we will look for the product of the roots. The product of the roots is c over a. And the value of our c is negative 4. And the value of our a is 3. The next step is we will get or we will get one half of 4 over 3. So we will just multiply 4 over 3 times one half is equal to 4 over 6 and reduce this to the lowest term which is 2 thirds. The next step is we will use this 2 thirds in our factors. So what you're going to do is just copy 2 over 3 plus x multiplied by 2 over 3 again minus x is equal to negative 4 over 3 which is the product of the roots. So if you are going to look at the equation, you are looking at this as very complicated one. But if you are going to observe this very carefully, this is just equivalent to the difference of two squares. These are the factors and this is the product. So if you're going to look at this closely, this is actually A, this is B, this is A minus this is B. So meaning this one, we can make it this way. A squared minus B squared. So that is 4 over 9 because a squared, we just square 2 third, 2 squared is 4 and 3 squared is 9. And we square b which is x, 
So that is x squared minus is equal to our product of the roots which is negative 4 over 3. Transposing x squared to the other side and transposing negative 4 over 3 to the other side, that would give us x squared is equal to 4 over 9 plus 4 over 3. Applying our knowledge in adding the similar fraction and your LCD, the LCD is 9, so that is 4. 9 divided by 3 is 3 times 4 is 12. 4 plus 12, that becomes 16. So we have x squared is equal to 16 all over 9. So getting the square root in both sides, we got x is equal to positive negative 4 over 3. Now what will you do with 4 over 3? That is actually the value of x, which is this. That is why to find the roots already, what we are going to do is 2 thirds plus this one, 4 over 3, and 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by 3, that gives us 2. So the other one, 2 thirds minus 4 over 3, that would give us negative 2 thirds. Therefore, our roots are 2 and negative 2 thirds. And believe me guys, if you are going to substitute this roots into our given quadratic equation, that will give you a true equation. So let us have another example. So at this time, you would be telling me, uh, it would be easier if you do the factoring. Yes, you're correct. But what is good in this method is so mechanical and it can solve any quadratic equation. In factoring, there are quadratic equations that you cannot factor. So let us continue. 2p squared plus 5p minus 3 equals 0. So the values of our coefficients are for a is 2, b is 5, c is negative 3. So the next step is we look for the sum of the roots. So we have negative b over a. Since our value per b is 5 and our b is negative already, so negative 5. All over a is 2. Then, the product of the roots is c over a, and our c is negative 3, and our a is 2. After this, we will get 1 half of negative 5 over 2. So, just, uh, just simply multiply 1 half to negative 5 over 2. That would give us negative 5 over 4. And we will use negative 5 over 4 in our factors. Negative 5 over 4 plus p because we are using p as our variable. Negative 5 over 4 minus p is equal to negative 3 over 2 which is the product of the roots. So applying difference of two squares, we just simply square negative 5 over 4 that gives us 25 over 16. And p squared that gives us 25 over 16 minus p squared is equal to negative 3 over 2, which is the product of the roots. Transposing negative p squared and negative 3 over 2 to the other side, that would give us p squared is equal to 25 over 16 plus 3 over 2. Adding the similar fraction and the LCD, that would give us p squared is equal to 49 over 16. And getting the square root in both sides, we have p is equal to positive negative 7 over 4 because square root of 49 is 7 and square root of 16 is 4. Now let us now find the roots using this one. We have negative 5 over 4 plus 7 over 4 is equal to 1 half because negative 5 plus 7 is positive 2 divided 4 is 1 half and the other one is negative 5 over 4 minus 7 over 4 is equal to negative 3. So our roots are 1 half and negative 3. If you have some questions in this method, you can always write your question in the comment section below this video. I will be happy to answer them. Example number 3. 6p squared minus 5p minus 6. Now getting the values of our a, b, and c, and getting our sum of the roots, which is 5 over 6 now, because negative times negative 5 is positive 5, 
and our value for A is 6. And for our product, negative 6 divided by 6 is negative 1. And we get 1 half of 5 over 6, then we got 5 over 12. And using this one in our factors, 5 over 12 plus B and 5 over 12 minus B is equal to negative 1. So what we are going to do with these factors is we just square the 5 over 12 and we square P that gives us 25 over 144 minus P squared is equal to negative 1. Transposing negative P squared and transposing negative 1, we got P squared is equal to 25 over 144 plus 1 and the LCD of this is 144. So, 144 plus 25 is 169. So, P squared is equal to 169 over 144. Getting the square root in both sides, we got P is equal to positive negative 13 over 12. Let us now find our roots. So, replacing our P with 13 over 12, to find our roots, we have 3 over 2 and negative 2 thirds. Question number 4. 18m squared minus 3m minus 6 is equal to 0. Since the coefficient 18, negative 3, and negative 6 is divisible by 3, so we can reduce our equation to 6m squared minus m minus 2 is equal to 0. So the values of our coefficients are 6, negative 1 here, imaginary, and our c is negative 2. So our sum is 1 over 6 because negative 1 times negative is positive 1 and our a is 6 and our product is negative 1 over 3 because negative 2 divided 6 can be reduced by negative 1 third. So getting 1 half of 1 over 6, we have 1 over 12. Using this one in our factors, we have 1 over 12 plus m times 1 over 12 minus m is equal to negative one third. So I will stop until here because this portion is do-it-yourself portion. So you write your answer using this method in the comment section and I'll give you a heart for a correct answer. If you like our video presentation right now, Please do like and please do share for others to watch this video tutorial. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and please hit the notification bell for you to be updated with my next session. Thank you.